Hey, hey, all my crafty friends. We are bouncing right into day 10 of our October daily. Super excited about this one. I wanted to use these uh, mica sprays. Well, these, they're actually the shimmer sprays. These ones are from Delusions. Um, it's still by Ranger, but it's another line by Ranger, obviously, than the Tim Holtz. Um, because until like literally a couple hours ago, I didn't have any mica sprays and I couldn't find them in my area. Um, and I really don't pay full price for anything. <laughs> um, so I, I just couldn't find them with a coupon or anything in my area. Um, until, uh, Amy from, oh, is it Prairie Paper? Oh gosh, I can't remember. It's Amy R anyways, um, was doing a live the other day and mentioned that Simon says, uh, stamps had a huge sale and I believe it was their whole uh, Halloween line of mica sprays and uh, you could do a five off coupon on top of it so I ended up getting a ton like six packages for like $34 or something like that now that's a deal I can handle since each one of them were like $12.99 to begin with so we picked those up so now we have tons of mica sprays, <laughs> um, all in Halloween colors, but that's okay. We'll add to it eventually. Um, but I wanted to test this and I, this today is all about pumpkin, um, the pumpkin patch. We just stopped at a, on the road, you know, like side of the road pumpkin patch since when we went to the apple orchard, we didn't get pumpkins. Um, and so yeah, so it was just a quick trip um, before baseball one day. I think it was before baseball or before, yeah, before baseball one day. Um, and I had this dye um, that cut out pumpkins. And I was like, hey, let's do some mica sprays or this shimmer sprays. Um, it didn't go well. <laughs> They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong, guys. The I, I mean, if you've seen that paper, that paper is gorgeous, right? Um, first of all, I needed to let it dry a little bit more. I did heat set this, but I needed to let it dry a little bit more. Two, I think I just sprayed the paper a little too much. Maybe if I would have not saturated the paper so much, um, then I might've wanted them. I don't know. I don't know. They were just a little too dark. They, they just didn't go quite. I'm saving them because I'm going to use these. They're gorgeous. Like I said, they're gorgeous. So shimmery. So, so pretty. So freaking pretty, right? Just not with this one. So what, um, I did, you're going to see, I left it in here. I left, see, look at them shining over there. I know it's hard to kind of see on camera, but they are so gorgeous over there. Um, and I just used the shimmer sprays, uh, what is that? Post, post boxed, pure sunshine and tangerine dream. Those are the three that I used. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave this in here because I want everybody to see that sometimes things just don't work. Sometimes things just don't work. Um, and you got to flip. And then I make another huge mistake at the end that you're going to see and had to bounce back from that too. So here I am. I have used a tree. Oh, here. I want one more thing. Um, you guys know that I'm in like the card videos and everything and they're constantly using... Um, alcohol minks, alcohol markers on their um, die cuts too. And I thought, okay, well, maybe if I can give them a little bit of depth, um, but honestly, it was just like too much mica stain, pretty much probably. There was, there was, mica stain stays on top of the card, so like, or on top of the paper, so they're just, I don't know. I couldn't go, I, I couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> um, it is what it is. It's okay. I will use these eventually. Um, the ledger paper, the background ledger paper is a Tracy Reed Designs paper from the Equinox. Guys, I did so many projects with the Equinox, but I don't feel like I even dove into that kit that much. Like, maybe I need to go back and dive into that kit again. Like, there was so much in there. I didn't even, I, I seen another project that used this ledger paper and I'm like, there was a ledger paper in there, but what was I doing? I don't know. Anyways. So I wanted to use that. 
Um, I thought it was perfect. A nice, um, I did go in and desaturate it um, because it was a very blue, like even it looks more blue on film than what it does in real life, honestly. Um, it doesn't look that blue in real life. <laughs> and then obviously the lines were red and I desaturated them to a brown-ish. So I just literally did a hue and saturation layer and desaturated it and did it. All right, there I go. I was like, yep, that's, it's just not going to work. So I re cut them all out. De 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 <laughs> that's a funny word. Anyways, um, de die cutted them back out and I was like, okay, I'm just going to use my alcohol markers. Um, I use the tri, um, tri color spectrum noir markers. I don't have Copics. Uh, that's a little bit too much of an investment on my part. <laughs> um, may, you know, if I ever get into this one day, maybe, I don't know. I, maybe I'll do the, um, oh, Olo markers or something eventually one day. I don't know. Um, I've seen Nicole and, uh, Kelly Taylor do these pumpkins and I'm like, okay, this is like the easiest coloring. It's just like feathering this. And I, I didn't think it was going well, but once the, it, once I got it blended and I let it dry, it looks much better. I'm like, okay, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> you see me, I am working it. I am working that paper. Um, but I did, I just used like my burnt orange with a brown, um, and just blended that in. Um, I just needed more texture, I think, out of those pumpkins on the side. And I might've been able to get it, but maybe my skills aren't that great yet. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? These aren't the best pumpkin dyes either, guys. Like, it's just like a cheapy die cut set um, that I got off of like Amazon or something. So it's not like the best pumpkin die cut set either. Um, once I started this, I was like, okay, I'm liking it, but I felt like my pictures were like floating. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did use two of the mixed media options, um, in the Equinox kit and put that on my backdrop or my back page, my, what do you call that? Like my beginning page? I don't know. <laughs> what do, I don't know what I'm calling that right now. Anyways, um, as a mixed media. Uh, so that gold like circle and then those leaves in the background were also mixed media options in the Equinox kits. So I used that to give me a little bit. And then, like I said, these pumpkins. Um, I also used my green markers to do the leaves. This one, it came out way better. So I was getting better at it. I was like, oh, if I kept on going, I can make these pumpkins look real good. <laughs> uh, probably just my better color combination on this one. So I only have a few markers of the Spectrum Noir. Um, I'm asking for the other, the next, um, I'm asking for the next set for Christmas this year. I'm hoping if not, then I'll probably purchase that for myself for Christmas. Um, because there are a few markers in this set that I feel would blend better. And those markers, I, if I, I've looked at the box, right, those markers are in that next, like that other set, the extended set. Um, especially in the greens. I feel like the greens in these ones tend to go from like really dark to like super light right here. And it's kind of hard to blend, at least for new color is like me. I wouldn't even call myself a colorist. I call myself like have fun with markers person. <laughs> so, all right, coloring those leaves. I knew that I would need a little bit more, um, dimension here with those pumpkins. And I'm like, okay, we're going to do this. So, um, also learned a little bit like, okay, if I went in with my lightest color and then my darkest, the midtones, and then back to my lightest, that it worked a little bit better. And so I did that. Also, I did my nails. If you've noticed for the first time in like years, I used to get my nails done all the time. And then it's just like too much money. Um, I used to get them done a lot. Um, 
I haven't gotten them done in years. And oh my goodness, I am not used to these darn things. And they're super short and I still am just not used to it. Like I couldn't get the lining off of the off of my uh, score tape. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I love this. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to put these pictures down. Just a picture of my little guy, a picture of my big guy, and the, both of them together. There's a whole other story, the next story, day 11, um, or story 11, I should say. Um, that's literally going to go right with the story. Um, so they are going to sit side by side. I don't know if I'm going to kind of make them the same-ish or if I'm going to make, you know, two different spreads. But uh, they kind of go together, but kind of don't go together. <laughs> uh, but so far, I'm loving this. Oh, the next thing, I just felt like my pictures were not grounded. I don't know. I felt like something was missing. So I pulled out that L Studio uh, paper pack that I had from a long time ago. Got that a while ago. I know it's not available anymore. Um, and use this wood pattern, which I am not a wood pattern paper type of person. Uh, I People use it so beautifully. And I just was not. But with this, I felt like with the pumpkins, it made sense and then they have that fence in the background I just made sense so I used it and I was so proud of myself so we are just coming out of our comfort zone today I'm telling you putting those little vines on there for the pumpkins and then um, I'm going to slip those le two little leaves back there the leaves just made it like I said, have a little bit more dimension. Bring a little bit of that green in there. Altogether, I was pretty proud of this uh, spread. It was definitely more scrapbookish than I usually do. Like scrapbook layout-ish. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I do a lot of my scrapbooking is like a picture with a list or... Um, you know, a full page picture with a couple embellishments, like not like scrapbooky where there is like true scrapbook goddesses out here that like have layers upon layers upon layers. And I just usually don't scrapbook like that. I'm pretty simple scrapbooker. All right. So I printed out some of the hearts from the Equinox kit, I made them like half the size that they were, uh, just to bring you know there was a lot of white space up there obviously so getting rid of some of that finally going to use these huge paper person numbers right <laughs> i was like oh this is a perfect time i love those big black 10 um because i wasn't going to stamp obviously this or something um over those die cuts and this worked perfect story number 10 that means i am one third way through this project <laughs> wish it was one half but one third. It's only about halfway through the month anyways, right? Now. So we're doing good. Um, and here we go with the stamping. So we're just going to stamp a uh, pumpkin patch. Oh, you know what? This is another spread I never even added journaling to. I'm going to have to probably add some journaling down to the bottom with some transparency paper. So I will do that. I, you know, for these videos, I'm definitely just focusing on getting, um, getting the pages done. That might be a video, honestly, at the end of the month, going back and, you know, doing the it, the little things like the journaling that I didn't get done. Um, I do a daily journal every day, at least I try and do a daily journal every day. Um, and so I have the memories written down. I have the thoughts written down. So, all right. So we are using the uh, Lizzie Alpha, Alpha from L Studio. With chocolate ink here, I didn't think that black ink would fit very well. And OMG, my worst nightmare. All right. And I don't even realize it, guys. Right here. What am I doing? Do you know how to spell pumpkin, Curtin? Like, I did think that it looked a little weird at that point, but I was like, oh, I'm just going. And then I get to here and I go to stamp the end and I'm like, what? am I doing? <laughs> I was so mad. I had no idea how I was going to fix this. 
uh, I sat there, I turned the camera off. I sat there trying to figure out ways to fix it. And I said, there's just no way to fix it um, without cutting a new piece of the paper. I figured I'm going to use this paper a lot anyways. I like this type of background paper. I'll use it eventually. And I cut out the exact portion of where this was. Um, and if you get close, you can see it. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, don't be that close to my spread. Okay. Back up. Back up. <laughs> you barely can see it. Honestly. I mean, it happens. Uh, th th there was literally nothing I could have probably, I mean, I maybe could have like put a cluster of some embellishments there, but then I just was like, that's going to like be hard to stamp on for the rest of the time. I line it up wrong. I'm like, what are you doing? Like get your, get it together. And I was having a even though like the pumpkins didn't work out in the beginning, like I was really having a great day scrapbooking. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so, okay. We're going to finish that. We're going to, uh, Oh, the other thing is, is with these darn nails, I couldn't close. Oh, I couldn't close my ink thing. Like I couldn't get my nail in there to close it. So I'm like, yeah, we're not going to like, and I like broke it and like it went flying. Oh gosh. Like I tell you anyways, <laughs> Um, so that's why I didn't open it all the way and clamp it down. I was just like, no, we're not doing that again. Um, so you're going to see me like struggle with my ink pad for a minute, but it is what it is. All right. There's that P in there. Pumpkin. I tell you, this is why I always am so terrified to stamp right on my spread because I am notorious for spelling things wrong. Just like, just notorious. So, all right, pumpkin. And then we're going to use L Studios, uh, Jane Block. What do they call these things? Oh, where did they go? Oh, tile alphas. There we go. Jane tile alphas. I have these in a lot of colors. I had them in the candy corn ones. I need to start using them. So we're going to use them. Use the stash of mine. I tell you, I tell you, uh, I tell you. <laughs> so that is pretty much going to wrap this up. I do put this back in my uh, spray box bucket. Uh, oh, I do. Add, I do try and add a few embellishments here to kind of detract from that little spot. Uh, so pulled out a bunch of L Studio, you know, uh, puffy stickers. It works. I mean, it works. I just stuck with that green, yellow, orange color palette, fall color palette. And, uh, it works. That's all I got to say. It, it works. Um, it's cute. I love it. It will work. Anyways, like, there we go. Put it back in my spray box and, um, I'm going to just use my small acrylic block with the pure sunshine um see me i'm just dipping just a little bit on there i didn't want to spray it because you have no control over that um but i wanted a little bit of splatter up in that other corner so i mix it with a little bit of water and then just use my paintbrush and it was perfect it was perfect amount adds a little bit of glitter a little bit of gold and we are good to go guys super excited about this it is so cute all right guys thank you so much uh for watching definitely if you got this far put a pumpkin in the comments below and let me know if you are into like the mixed media and mica sprays and all that kind of stuff um it's fun it is a little uh nerve-wracking but it's fun and i probably will enjoy messing around with these maybe more in my cards but gonna enjoy it talk to you guys soon bye